There you go. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Okay. Okay. She'll be doing it. Okay. She'll be doing a second to be calling. And then you got to right. keep going. This is good, man. This is real good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I love it. I yeah. love it. Yeah, real, yeah, it's real cool. Real cool, it yeah, got some notes, man. Got some notes. <laughs> that would make me want to get on the field. Man. <laughs> hey, jump on. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> me like that, yeah. I hear you, bro. I hear you. Hey, Dawson, sorry about that, yeah. We yeah, we do. We have more than two people that stay limited to 40 minutes. So I'm going to come back to Stefan because I know you got to get ready to go in a minute. Um, and we'll, close, yeah. we'll close with um, Stefan Finch to see if you have any questions, Dawson. Um, so go ahead. Uh, Stefan. Yes. Yeah, I had uh, mm -hmm. just, uh, just one question. So, um, mm -hmm. Stefan, you're a defensive lineman, right? No, I was the defensive back. He was a back. Oh, DB, okay. Well, DB, um, yeah. well, just as a defensive player in general, how important is yeah. it to know the offense? Well, I, I think I think it's well. Okay, I put, I put it this way. I mean, I put it this way. Far as far as you far as you as a player, that's that's just use you as a player because. You know, I think you know when it when it comes to when it comes to you as a player, and you know you you know you knowing you know you knowing the interior we call it the interior line, which is you know guard tackle, you know guard tackle center center guard tackle. So that's it. And tight end sometimes tight end interior depends, but it's center guard tackles. Okay. Um, far as far as you knowing, um. On the offense side, what you know, what you do to down block, you know the, you know, the gap, the pool, and all those, those, all those things, you know, the more and more you know that, you know, because, you know, because the thing is about it, and okay, and I, I, I liked it until me playing. I played wide receiver, so me playing wide receiver, yeah, I knew what the offense was doing, but it was more me, me understanding what the DB is trying to do to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? So if I got a, you know, just for instance, if I got a, if I got a, 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 a in route, a ten yard in route, you know, I know as far as what I'm trying to do to the defensive back as a wide receiver, you know. So I gotta set him up. It's called set him up. I gotta set him up for something else, and then run my dig route. You know what I'm saying? So the more and more you know about what the offense line does, you know, the gaps, you know, the pools, you know, the, um, um, what do they call them? They call it the, um, well, pass protection. Um, um, they, they call it, uh, what is it called? It's, it's not, it's, um, uh, how do they call that? God dang it. Uh, it, it's some other things, it's some other terminology, some other terminology that you will learn as a, as an offense interior guy, um, the more and more you know that now when you come to defense, when you come to the defense tackle side, the defense strong, you know, um, strong inside, you're able to, you're able to use that information. You're able to use that information, what you know as an offense lineman, to be able to be an effective defensive guy. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. You know, so so as you so as so as you on the offense side, you know, and you know you got a down block and they, they teach, you know, they teach rules. They're gonna teach rules in the gap, you know, in the gap, you know, head up, you know, head up, you know, if you uncovered, you know what I'm saying? So all that terminology they gonna they teach you. And so you you know, as an offensive guy, if you got a down block, if nobody's in the gap, where are you gonna go? gonna push you gonna push up right there's nobody in the gap so you ain't gonna block nobody so you gonna push up 
from the center up to the to the linebacker. You know what I'm saying? So they that's how they teach you. That's how the coach is gonna teach you. And so you begin to store that information, you know, and so you know, and so when you become a when you play as a strong a strong end, you know what I'm saying, you play as a strong end, you either gonna be head up in the gap, you know, or shade, you know, and so you use that to your advantage to know what the offensive guard do because you've been an offensive guard. You've been an offensive tackle. You know what I'm saying? So you know, you got to understand, start knowing what the strategies, you know, these are strategies, okay? These are strategies, okay? As a defensive back, as a defensive back, you know, for me, I'm looking at the wide receiver. I'm looking at where he lines up. If he lines up on the numbers or if he lines up inside the number or outside the number, that's going to tell me if he's trying to set me up to run an in route or if he's trying to run a go route, because if he's outside the numbers, he don't have much sideline. So, you know, so I'm not going to line outside. I mean, I'm going to use the sideline as my defender, as my help, okay? So that's a short way to the sideline that I can get to, you know what I mean? So you got you to gotta understand strategies. You got to understand alignment, where people, where the alignment, they line up. What they're trying to what they're trying to do to you, you know what I'm saying? Instead of, you know, you know the massive, you know the massive of the whole, you know, the whole offense. You want to get to that, but you know, initially you want to know, you want to perfect what you do, you know, best how you can do your job the best, and then when you go to defense, you use that strategy or that understanding on how you can get in the best position to be able to, you know. To make the to make the defensive play, you know what I'm saying. So, you know, so if you as you begin to understand that, as you begin to process, you know, just processing that, you know, that information, you know, it's gonna, you know, it's gonna help you. It's gonna help you down the road, you know, when you get, you know, more like, you know, more like when you get to, you know, your junior senior year when you, you know, uh, kind of knowing what position you're gonna play best, and then then the recruit. You know, with the recruiting aspect is when they come in, you know, the college college teams come in. Now they're looking at you as you coming to them and what, you know, what they want you to, what they want you to do, you know, for their team. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, so that, that comes along, you know, down the road. But as, you know, but for now, you know, just, you know, just really start processing, you know, processing the terminology of the interior line center center guard tackles and then um processing that and then looking at you know then processing the defense side on you know how 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 these two strategies you know how these two strategies work you know work against each other and how you can use you know your understanding your comprehension you know to be able to perform you know your position you know the best you know what i'm saying yeah so mm-hmm. I think that'll help you, you know, that'll help you a whole, you know, that'll help you a whole lot. It, you know, because once you start thinking about that, you you know, it, it'll start clicking, believe me. It'll start, you know, it'll start clicking with, especially with the, you know, with the, um, you know, guard and tackle as, you know, in the gap, you know, head up or shade, shade inside, shade outside. So, you know, um, so start, you know, when you, and then, um, a big thing is now. Do you um do you do you take notes in your meetings? Um no, I do not. I I try to remember most of the stuff. Yeah, get you a. I mean, yeah, you got a young yeah, you got a young brain. <laughs> but you know, but these terminologies, these terminologies, this stuff doesn't. It doesn't change. It just get a little more sophisticated as you go from college to pros. But but these term in the gap, you know. Head up, shade inside. That don't change. You I mean, you can't change that. In the gap, shade, head up, inside, outside shade. You can't change that. You know what I mean? So, you know, best to start. You know, you know, start. Um, you know, taking notes. You know what I mean? Taking notes. You know, writing. You know, writing notes. Writing. You know, um, writing plays. You know, writing down plays and you know. And, and and where the where the guy lines up, you know, I mean stuff like that, man. It's gonna it's gonna help you immensely. I mean, I'm telling you, I you know, I was you know, I was like you. I mean, I you know, I didn't take I didn't take a lot of notes when I was in high school, you know, but you know, 
wrong. <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah, I mean to the pros, but you know, but it's you know, yeah, making it to the pros that it's that's one level, but still, but understanding the game, being a student of the game, you know, it's it's a whole nother level. Being a student of the game is a whole nother level, you know what I'm saying? So it just helps you. It just helps you um, you know, retain, it helps you to, you know, be a you know, be a better and smarter, you know, smarter uh, and give you a good example, I can't remember his name, but he was he was in the top three players. He was a white receiver that just got drafted. And um he was you know, preparing um just before the draft, you know, um some some you know, there was the coaches gonna be looking at him. He was in at in his room and showing where he was studying all his notes, all the plays and all that. So all that's you know very, very important. Again, if you want to get to that level, you can't be average. You know, Michael Jordan took notes. Michael Jordan practiced. I use Michael Jordan because that's, you know, I, you know he's just tenacious by doing that. But these football players have done the same thing. You know, how, how, how do you separate yourself from, from everybody else? You know, if you're studying, you get, you're taking notes, you're studying your notes. Does the coach you see that you're doing that? You know that you're serious about the game, and you're probably going to get more time. That's if you apply it. Stefan, you're frozen. I don't know how you got frozen. No, you're okay. He's frozen. Um, yeah, sorry about that, guys. Yeah. So um, I was telling you about the, the NFL player that just got, that guy just got drafted, and how it was just mm -hmm. remarkable that. He's getting ready to be reviewed by the coaches, he was, and he was studying his playbook. Like you said, he had written down all of his notes and all of his plays. Mm -hmm. and he said, man, this is what's going to separate me from everybody else, because I'm studying my plays. When I go in there, I want to make a habit, and I want to make sure I'm reminding myself when they tell me to do, um, you know, whatever, Yeah, I got it. I got to yeah. study that, and I got to reconfirm everything that I'm used to doing. You know, it's automatic. Yeah. I've been doing this for a long time. I want to continue to study it, make it happen. If you look at you know, the stuff that Jeff and I, we research, because like I said, we do um, workshops, huge workshops, 250, 300 students at a time on, on, on becoming a student athlete. And the last one that we just did, focus on studying, man, studying. Mm -hmm. Not, not talking not talk academically, that too, also studying the game. Mm -hmm. Looking at that playbook constantly. Yeah. If if you look at if you look at if you look at any if you look at whether it be college football or NFL, you see a lot of times when they come to the sideline, what are you doing? They study the playbook. IPad. Yeah, on an iPad. Yep. Uh -huh. On an iPad. A separation. It's gonna. I mean, it's gonna. It's gonna separate you. You know, and that's the. You know, and that's the thing that you know. I mean, that's the thing that, you know, I, you know, I want from, the other thing I want from athletes, you know, young athletes is to, you know, it, it is to, you know, think, you know, think and comprehend quicker, you know, uh, you know, and get away from this, you know, get away from this dumb jock, you know, this dumb jock situation, you know. Um, you know, athletes, you know, uh, are smart. You know, we, we comprehend a playbook. <laughs> you, know, you know, like you said, you don't need to take a note. You don't need to take notes. You comprehend a playbook at two or three different positions. I mean, you can't be, you can't be stupid and do that. I mean, I don't, you know, I don't care what you say. You can't be stupid. You can't be no dumb jock and know three different positions, you know, and a playbook and you and you thinking you know you processing and thinking three four seconds you know um you know on each play what's coming at you what's going on and you protecting yourself and yeah so it ain't nothing you know ain't nothing stupid about you know ain't nothing stupid about that but just being you know be you know being smart you know and and the window understanding the window of time you have you got two windows of time you got you know, from right now, I mean, we're talking about just from right now, you got the window from now, your high, high school, high school window, um, where 
you make an impact, you know, that sets you up for your college window, okay? So your high school window sets you up to get that scholarship you talked about to that Division One school for your college career. And then you got that another three, three to four years window to set you up for that draft, you know, for that NFL draft, you know, uh, which that window sets you up for life, really. I mean, if you can get into that window, if you can get in that NFL window, um, you know, which, you know, which is the goal, you know, which is the goal to get in that NFL window. Because uh, in that NFL window, you can, I mean, you know, you can still be an engineer. I mean, there's been doctors, NFL, that's NFL former players, players that's been doctors and lawyers and everything. So we know, um, you know, so we you know, can, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got so, we got we got a friend that you know, we so got a friend windows, that, that's a doctor windows. that's a doctor now former NFL player yeah. that actually you know, had the opportunity yeah. to speak with yeah. us with the platform without speaking to you, and I actually wrote a speech for it. He spoke to over seven thousand doctors about yeah. concussion. Yeah, I was just talking. Yeah, I just talked to this um this one guy, this young cat. He's about thirty. He's about thirty something now. He went to the University of Alabama, uh, attorney. He uh he would um John uh John John Gibbs John Gibbs Gibson John Gibson he um worked with Terry doing some stuff with Terry attorney young black attorney too yeah so played you know played in NFL so yeah so it's um it's definitely doable but you know understand those windows the window of times you have the windows you know and those windows close they close you know they they're not open forever they you know high school window boom college window. NFL window, you know what I mean? So, you know, so you want to make, you want to, you know, you want to um, make the best, you know, make the best, you know, make the best decisions, um, you know, develop, develop and know who you are, you know, work on your goals, keep your goals before you, keep a notepad, you know, start, you know, start keeping a notepad now, you know what I'm saying? Study. I mean, you can, you know, you can study from last year's stuff, you know, um, you know, I mean, and, you know, study from what y'all did last year. Study the guys that, you know, played before you, you know, that just graduated. You know what I mean? See what they did. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so it's not, you know, it's not too early. It's not too early to know where, you know, not too early to know where you want to go. And, um, and it's just a matter of, you know, getting that roadmap to get there. Yeah, so. So what we're going to do, we're going to, several are going to talk some more. We cool, may be cool. a few weeks out because I don't know what the schedule is like. So I definitely know we'll meet Boston a little bit before you know, we get back. And I just need to figure out what the schedule and all that we're going to do. But I know one thing, if you can yeah. you know, put together um, what, what your coaches are asking you to do so Stefan can look at that, um, that would be good. You know, what, what are you doing on a daily basis? One thing we talked about, Stefan, just really quickly, because I know we talked about this earlier, about what he should be doing now. Because the season, we don't know when the season is going to happen. But if it happens, then you got to be ready. Mm. You know, so, you know, just making sure. So, yeah. Um, just kind of, if you could just share with that as we get ready to close. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, yeah, well, just real quickly, I mean, just basically what, um, you know, um, like you were saying to Coach, <clears throat> you know, Coach sending you guys some type of workout right now, trusting, <laughs> trusting, hoping that y'all doing it, you know, and, and it's and I was telling Jeffrey that I know it's you know as an athlete I know it's it's hard to kind of work out by yourself but I mean it's just it's just certain things that you have to do right now um, is you know just you know developing your you know developing you as an athlete you know um, so doing the workout um, and you know some stuff home stuff is good that you can do but you know but if you talk about you know being able to start really playing um and the window is getting condensed because it's going to be pushing pushing this window because they don't you know making the decision you know you're not making the decision you know the you know the hierarchy people are making the decision but if they push y'all to go play then you got to be ready you know you got to be in some type of shape and ready to go in you know and show the coach that you know you know, it's going to show the coach a whole lot that you're a self-starter, you're smart. You know, it's going to show them a whole lot. I mean, it's going to be, it's, it's going to blow a lot of coaches' mind on when they look at these young athletes now, what they're doing, what they're not doing. You know, so it's going to, it's 
it's going to be real interesting. But, um, you know, but just, just being ready to get on the field, uh, be in condition, you know, doing, you know, strength work as, you know, as much as you can, you know, just take an inventory of what, you know, what you have, you know, if you have weights at home, if you have, you know, um, you know, uh, ladders, you know, just, you know, I mean, there's, if you don't have these things and you got, you know, you got access to get them, that's fine. But then there's other ways you can, you know, you could come up and, you know, and, um, and create a ladder, make a ladder, you know, we can, you know, we could talk about different things like that, how to, you know, how to make, you know, different equipment or how to, you know, just be creative. You know, we talked about being creative, you know, and so um, if there's a hill near your house, you know, um, running the hill or, you know, or asking, you know, asking mom, you know, mom, there's a hill, you know, near us. Let's go, you know, can we go over there? I just need 20 minutes, you know, run 10 hills, you know what I'm saying? So it's just, you know, it's a matter of what, you know, what you want to do, how, you know, how you want to get there you know, how you want to reach your goal and, you know, being creative, you know, creative mind, or, you know, to, to figure out, you know, how best to do that. Yeah. So. And, and a key there, yeah, if you yeah, waited somebody yeah, to somebody. tell you that yeah. too late, no, you should be, you should be thinking yeah. and then doing. And one thing is yeah. thinking is one thing, yeah. but doing is another thing. Execution is really important. So we talk about execution. Um, but one of the mm -hmm. things is that, um, we get ready to shut down. Um, have you, did you talk to your, did you yeah. talk to your mom about our conversation yesterday? Yes. How did she feel about it? Um, she didn't really say anything. She, I mean, she said it's uh, good for me. Okay. But talk to her again about tonight. We, we, both, Steph and I are big on, um, and calling Steph Coach Adams, calling Coach Adams. Um, um, so we, um, we're big on having parents involved, so sometime down the line, I'll have her jump on um, with us. She wants to stay on the whole call, but I like parents to be involved. I like, you know, maybe next time, you know, we get Stefan on, you can meet him. Um, it's just important. We want to make sure the parents are in alignment to what we're talking about. You know, um, um, even though you're my, 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 my cousin, I still, you know, I still like to get the parents involved. You know, I've, I've always been that way. Um, you got, you know, like I said, you got opportunity um, in the air, man. You're getting something that a lot of students don't have. You know, like I said, just for Stefan to be on here, um, or Coach Adam to be on here today, it's been a little bit over an hour and a half, just to, you know, so much volume. So I want to just say, Kim, you know, from the you know, depth of my heart, that you know, he took time out of his busy schedule um, to talk to you, you know, and on, on, that, that meant a lot to me. Um, how do you feel about it? I'm, I'm thankful. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, that's all I have. Yes, Good um, talking to you, man. Good talking to you. Yeah, yeah. Good deal. Good talking to you. When, I want to go with those grades. I, I want to kind of rest right now because I've been running all afternoon and on the phone. Um, how does your schedule look like next, this weekend yeah. for about a half an hour? Um, I shouldn't have anything to do. Um, what would be a good, what, what does tomorrow morning look like for you? Um, it depends on what time in the morning. Like, I think around 12, well, 11 or 12. Let's maybe. focus on, let's focus on 11 o'clock your time. Cause I got, I got, I'm having a, one of my friends up in Minnesota. We're getting together over Zoom. To talk. I'm going to have his wife and my wife. We're going to just. We haven't, we haven't talked in a while, so they want to they want to talk with us just to they haven't seen us in a long time. Let's look at yeah, eleven o'clock your time, which is new my time. I'm only gonna need a half an hour and I just want to focus on the grades. Um I just want I just have some questions. I can see where we can help you out with we only got a few more weeks of school left, okay? I won't take okay. too much of your time. I know I can just into a lesson. We, we believe in having fun too, don't we, Stefan? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No doubt, will, no doubt. I will yeah, let no Stefan close whatever he has to say. Let him close it. Again, I, I appreciate it. Yeah, no, you know, like I said, man, it was, um, you know, great talking to you. Great, um, you know, great meeting you, you know, over Zoom. And, um, yeah, mm -hmm. hopefully, you know, like I said, hopefully you said, you know, said some things that, you know, help you along, you know, along the way. Like I said, I'm a, you know, you know, Destiny, you know, Destiny helper, man. I got about eight other 
eight to ten other kids I'm gonna be working with and training here here in Georgia. Yeah, so just getting them um, you know, just just helping them get right, man. Help them get right and uh, and meet their goals. You know, I mean, because it's, it's you can you can achieve it. You know, you can achieve it. And uh, and I did. You know, I achieved them. You know, and so uh, you know, I'm no I'm no different than you are. I'm no better than you are. So it's just a matter of you know being focused and uh, and doing the work. You know, and doing the work, doing what it takes. So so good talking to you. And I um, look forward to. You know, look forward to chatting again and, you know, and just um, going a little deeper. Yeah, so. Yeah, I appreciate Stay both safe. You guys. Stay safe out there. You too. I appreciate yes, you sir, both man. I love both you guys. And yes, sir, love you, as they say, yes, sir. Nick back, back, channel, back channel, as they say, Batman and Robin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Good deal. Okay, bro. Yes, appreciate sir. it. All right, guys. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> Mom said hello. I said hello. Oh, what? So your mama said hello. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe she can jump off for a second tomorrow. Um, yeah, she might be able to. Yeah, check with her. If she could, that'd be good for a couple minutes. Okay. Okay, thanks. 11. All right. Bye. Bye.